What's up guys, I'm back with another movie review. Today I'm here to talk about another one from Warner Archive. And it is Telephone, starring Charles Bronson. So this movie is really strange. The storyline is that during the Cold War, the Russians had a bunch of sleeper agents over here in the United States. Uh, but because the conflict kind of died down, they just let the people, you know, the sleeper agents live out their lives as, as if that was kind of, you know, just their natural lives. Uh, but years later, somebody is uh, calling and activating these agents using a code word. And then these seemingly just everyday normal people are doing crazy things like trying to fly a helicopter into a military base and trying to blow up, blow stuff up and just, you know, all these acts of terrorism. And it's kind of baffling because, you know, as far as the police are concerned, it's just normal people going crazy. But it's happening like more and more often. Um, as it turns out, the guy that's behind this is uh, Donald Pleasance. <laughs> and, uh, he gets into some, cr he has this weird thing where he has to get into all these different outfits, uh, you know, disguises for when he does it. My favorite one, he looks just like John Denver. He has this just ridiculous wig. He's dressed like John Denver. It's hilarious. Anyway, um, while he's doing that, the people in Russia are realizing like, hey, somebody's activating these sleeper agents. And of course, Charles Bronson is, uh, you know, dispatched to go take care of it. And that's the uh, kind of the point of the movie is that Bronson goes over to track down Donald Pleasant because if he doesn't catch him in time and the Americans are like, hey, we know what's going on here, that could re-spark the conflict between the two countries and nobody wants that. Um, this movie is ridiculous, but it is so good. It's so entertaining. It's so crazy. This is the infamous movie where they offered the role to Bronson and asked him if he would shave his mustache. And he said, no mustache, no Brunson. <laughs> so just for that alone, I think it's worth checking out. But uh, the story is really crazy. It's just got a lot of nuts things that happen in it. Uh, because it's been a little, it's been like a couple weeks since I watched it. I went back and looked at my notes and just some of the, st the stuff that I wrote down is just so crazy. The John Denver is burned into my brain. Like it was so funny to see Donald Pleasance as John Denver as a terrorist. That was fantastic. Um, Bronson is great. Lee Remick is in this and she has some just some of the worst outfits you've ever seen in your life. One of them looks like she's working at McDonald's. <laughs> it's like such a weird outfit. It's got tons of stuff like that. Here's some stuff from my notes. Uh, Donald Pleasance as John Denver, pancake threats, hidden geological messages, housewife terrorism, emotionally sensitive computers. Uh, the, the computers in this movie are emotionally sensitive. And it's also really cool, seriously, that uh, the computer expert in this movie is a woman, which I thought was kind of interesting, uh, despite the fact that maybe they thought that you know, the computer should be emotional because there's a woman in charge of them. I don't know, but it was still pretty cool to see like an early computer expert and have it be a woman in my opinion. Uh, Lee Remix McDonald's outfit. And there is a gunfight between a cop and a snake. <laughs> like as if the movie wasn't nuts enough up to that point, a cop fights a snake with a gun. That's amazing. This movie is super fun. It's a little bit, str well, it's a lot strange. Um, you kind of have to appreciate like the unintentional absurdity of some of it. Uh, the relationship between Bronson and Lee Remick is unbelievably dysfunctional. Um, he is so cold and dismissive toward her. It is fantastic. It, this is vintage Bronson. Um, I love this movie. I honestly like love, love it. I could watch it all the time. I think it has a ton of replay value. I was so happy uh, to get a chance to see it. Uh, this is a reissue from Warner Archives, so it has been available on DVD before. Um, it's got a nice widescreen transfer, no extras, but the movie looks really good. I didn't have any complaints with the transfer. Um, so while this has been available in other formats, it's nice to have a uh, an in-print version from Warner Archive. And like I said, it looks good. The price is right. I just I had a blast with this movie. If you're a fan of Bronson, you gotta have the No Mustache, No Brunson movie <laughs> in your collection. And it's just a super fun quirky over the top wild movie um, i can't recommend it enough it would definitely be in my personal hall of fame of movies if you want to read my full write-up of uh, telephone you can at marfusion.com as well as over a thousand other movie reviews uh, there's also hundreds and hundreds of movie reviews in this playlist including other bronson movies other warner archive movies so if there's anything that catches your eye uh, it really helps me out a lot uh, when people watch the older videos uh, I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Patreon. Uh, $5 a month gets you exclusive content. And I'm also on uh, Letterboxd if you want to see uh, what I'm watching. I kind of diary there so you can get an idea of what might be coming up on the channel. But sometimes they get backlogged. 
Um, but the best thing you can do to help me out is just to hit that sub button. Free, easy, direct way to support me. And uh, it might not seem like watching the old videos makes a big deal, but it really does. Uh, anything that helps my view count or my minute count, that's what YouTube kind of judges all of us small uh, creators on. So if there's anything that catches your eye, please do check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do not miss Telephone. <laughs> this movie is awesome. Thank you again so much for watching this, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon.